Hi friends, welcome to Aishu's DIY. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this bracelet. It's a very simple bracelet, basic, but I call this series back to basics. The thing is, um, barrel knot is something that which I struggled a little bit in the uh, start to do it. So I just wanted to um, uh, teach you guys just a knot so that uh, it's easy to make. So once you learn the basics of this barrel knot and especially with a thicker cord it's much easier to go for a thinner cord and i um had i'm using the satin cord it's i think four millimeter cord and i did this bracelet with this multi-color cord uh, multi-color satin cord and then you cannot really control the colors so even though i have all the colors in this it's predominantly yellow here but that's what it is it's so easy to make and it's so um, i mean comfortable to wear in your fingers even for kids it's so good uh, i'm gonna make the same bracelet with this cord so that once you can learn with the thicker cord i mean uh, it's easier to go for a thinner cord uh, barrel knots and with leathers as well so i'm gonna use this four millimeter I'm sure you can use 2mm, 3mm, whichever you have. I have this several, uh, I have this in my stash. I bought this several years back. It's been lying there. So I thought, why not use it for some, something, uh, some bracelet. I have been thinking of doing this bracelet for quite a long time now, like probably like four months or so. I never got a chance to do it. And then for this cord, because this cord is very thick, I'm using a, a, uh, plastics um, pearls and this one is from Michaels it was like a multicolor one like purple blue and grays and stuff like that um, I chose this color and to go with this I know it's not a very contrast but I think uh, I'm making this for a child so and the child likes this color a lot so I have to do with that color I'm still contemplating whether to do this or that is um yeah i shall better do that in this color this um color i i don't think so it should confuse you guys more and apart from beads that has big holes that goes through this cord whichever cord you choose you need to choose the beads accordingly and we need lighter we need a pair of scissors and um some uh, that's about it actually ah yeah the main thing the main thing you need is a straw so uh, just a piece of straw not a lot just a piece of straw should be good enough so all you need to do is i have this straw lying around my house i just cut a little bit so that i can use for this project that's all you need and if you're using a thinner cord you can as well use the barrel knot tube that you get so um that's uh like a hollow metallic tube that also works so be careful with the lighter i already burnt my fingers a little bit so it's just um yeah it's a thicker cord so here we go there we go so wait for it and make like a needle style and then we need our ruler to measure the cord i'm going to take five uh, feet of cord that was exactly what was needed for that bracelet i'm not going to go anywhere less than that uh, for standard size bracelet of a seven inch wrist I'm sorry i lost track of the uh, feet one two three four and five so there we go i just cut it over here and then that's all we don't need the ruler anymore so from here is where i'm going to start um So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this as my end. I'm just thinking what to do. Yeah, that side has pink more. 
so first of all i need to leave a considerable length because i have here a barrel knot as my end and then a bead so i need sufficient cord to do a barrel knot you will not be able to do the shorter cord so for that i'm saying let's leave about an eight inch tail minimum so if i bring this and do yeah so nine inch tail minimum and then i will start my knot the first knot um i'll take my um straw handy dandy straw take it the more important thing is you need to put the cord under the a tube or the in my case the straw then once okay and then cross over this part is important this first uh, wrap the second wrap needs to cross over the first and then go like that four and five that's how much I did after that just hold this and take it on towards this side where your long cord the knotting cord is coming from take the end of the knotting cord and put it through this and take it all the way down just like so and then hold these cords in your fingers okay it's important to hold and as you can see there is five um, wraps and now you can take off the uh, straw and then so i need the knot here so i don't want to go any further so look how i am rotating away from me that's actually cinching the um the cord because we put the uh, tube or the straw it is bulked up our uh, knot so i'm just pulling my right thread the knotting thread and i am keeping all the loops and then i am just doing that see so if you pull it too tight everything might come apart so just gradually tighten that up so i tighten it up by rotating it away from me so that's how i do so once you have that your knot is in place and there we go our barrel knot is done now all you need to do is take the end feed a bead through that i know it's it looks like a lot of cord but trust me it, it the barrel knot uses really a lot of cord so now after the bead you need to put this uh straw and then again do your wraps one two three four and five okay then take this make sure this is underneath the straw take this and feed it through the straw take it out okay now you have this hold on to all of your wraps and gently remove the straw so now if you put there is one thread coming out from here so if you pull that you can go closer to the bead now you need to concentrate that the knot needs to sit right next to the bead so if you pull this it'll it'll shorten that up but that will make this loops even more bigger so you need to actually cinch it just by rotating away from you make sure you are rotating away from you that will actually make this this cord go all the way back there that's what it is making so now 
make sure it's tight don't rush this i have rushed it several times and then i have uh, faced the consequences <laughs> so the knot won't come properly so don't rush this take your time to do actually to patiently do this knot so this is the most important part just roll it roll it and then pull roll and pull roll and pull don't rush otherwise you will lose the there we go our knot is done so this is how we do the parallel knot then again add a bead and then continue knotting so until you reach the desired length that you want for your bracelet so here i have seven um beads and um nine knots and then this i have done a um, basic square knot as a sliding knot so that we can slide it open and close so and there is a barrel knot on the end of these cords as well so to get to that i'll show you guys one more time the barrel knot so make sure it's tight So put this on top, take it and cross it. The second uh, wrap needs to be crossed. Three, four, five. So hold it. It will be cumbersome and it will be like a little bit difficult in the start. But the more you make it like how we make basic loops and wrap loops, the more you make you get better at it that's exactly how this also works i have learned it by experience i used to watch it watch it watch it several times and i never like when i try it i just i think i kind of rush it at that point of time and i never understood how this knot worked but then slowly steadily then i tried it again and again finally it came to me just pull this but don't rush it and just roll this uh, and then just make it tight roll it away from you that way the wraps become shorter and shorter and then you achieve a nice knot so i'll continue doing this until i finish up till nine knots and then i'll see, meet you guys back so welcome back i finished doing this because i'm doing a smaller size than this i added only six beads here and then um seven knots so here we go and then here i left nine inches of cord so i will do this side first and then i'll cut the rest yeah this is longer because we are going to do the um, sliding knot also with the same cord so totally it's a five feet cord that is what you want i'm gonna add a smaller pearl than this this one is an eight millimeter this one is a six millimeter and i'm gonna add that small bead to the end for this um uh the thing to pull let me see if this goes through this because sometimes it won't go through let's see If so, I will use the bigger bead. Otherwise, I will use a small bead. I thought the small bead would look good. Even in the sample, I did that way. But unfortunately, it's not going through. Let's try another bead. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me melt this a little bit more. Now let's try. 
again. It's not going any further. That's okay. I'll use the bigger bead. So I put the bead here. So I don't want a long distance here. So this is how much I need. Let me just see this. This is how much I need. So from here, I can do the barrel knots. So take your um, straw, keep it right here. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. I'm not doing five. So four. And then put it through this. So now you have four loops that you need to make it into a knot. Just don't lo let go of the spiral. That's what makes your knot. At the same time, see if it has enough space right here. So there we go. So just slowly do this. rotate 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 so that you can cinch this knot there we go the knot is in place now do the same the other side so take a bead Repeat a bead through this cord, long cord. I know it's extremely long. You don't need this long, but that's okay. So here we go. This is how much tail you want. Right? Okay. From here, take your straw and start wrapping. One, two, three, four and we did only four last time so one two three four take the cord feed it through this oops the satin cord is very smooth and slippery if you use bamboo hemp or even leather cord, it is not as slippery as this. Okay, now remove, slowly remove this off of yours. And then try to pull this. So we need a knot exactly here. We don't want to move anywhere, right? So we need a knot exactly here. So all you need to do is roll and pull gently roll and pull gently roll and pull and check if your height is right if not you still have a chance to actually move the knot up okay Check again, it's pretty much right. And now you can tighten your knot. There we go. Now what you do is you snip off the tail right here and this one right here. We need this much far to actually do the knot. Um, so I forgot to add the bead here. So here I cut the ends and now what we need to do is nicely melt this and then push it against the knot. This knot is not going to come anywhere. So do the same the other side. 
nicely melted that's really good with chinese notion card and satin card and stuff like that we can actually uh, burn it so now the the length that you cut off uh, from the five feet is what i have right now for the square knots so keep this two together just put this cord over here and then start doing square knots so right over left consider these two cords to be the middle one single cord and then do the square knot i have videos in my uh, channel for square knots so that's the basic knots that you learn for macrame so i hope um, everybody knows it if you don't know i'll leave in the description below so that you guys can watch and then learn it and come back and do this so this is a sliding knot so that it's a, it fits all sizes basically so that uh, you don't have to know the wrist size of your uh, of the people that you whom you are making the um, somehow if you make the square knot wrong you will know for sure i did something wrong there it didn't come out properly so let me just redo that okay now so you can also tape this to your surface and do this knot or you can do it like how i am doing it right now that is one square knot so if you have a painter's tape or even a scotch tape or something like that so take some and then you can actually tape it to your surface like that and then continue doing your knots so your Q's and P's go underneath and now your piece on top go underneath the two and through the loop The satin cord is a little bit bulkier so make sure you have tight knots um, anyways it will move don't worry about it sliding or so it's very smooth so that should not be a problem so that's three full square knots and I think that should be enough for the kid. So I'm just going to snip off these. Just leaving it a tad bit for me to melt. This is, this is not very good. There we go. So now take it off. These two things we need to make sure it doesn't come off. So. melt nicely and stick it see that's not going to come anywhere so this one also you can cut a little bit more so that's not going to come anywhere now you can actually do that 
How cute is that? You can make a bunch of these and you can stack them. Um, or you can um, actually stack them with stretch bracelets or you can make multiple of these with the different size of uh, cord and then stack it. So it's really, really cute. I mean, just wear it. To wear also, it's very easy. All you need to do is pull these ends and this barrel knot at the end actually helps you hold that really nicely and as you can see it's very pretty and comfortable to wear so i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos um almost every day it comes around 5 pm pacific standard time thank you so much for watching have a good day bye